guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's battle, um, it's scenario 8 of the Storm of Vengeance campaign, Dark Angels against Orcs. Warhammer 40,000 Storm of Vengeance, scenario 8, counterattack. Nuts Tracks, capture of the Barrack Gorge power plant, meant that the Orcs still had two power plants they could use to run their teleporter so the flow of Orky forces to Piscina was undiminished. What was more, the bulk of the Orc army lay between the Space Marines and the captured power plants. Belial knew he had to act quickly, or soon there would be so many Orcs on the planet that he would not be able to contain them until the rest of the chapter arrived, bringing much needed reinforcements. He first considered using the Thunderhawk gunship he had available to launch a surprise attack on Barrack Gorge, but a reconnaissance by a patrol of Ravenwing landspeeders revealed that the power plant was heavily defended. Such an attack would almost certainly fail. Belial was left with only one viable option, launching an attack on the Orc landing site. This was not quite as risky as it sounded. The Orcs were stretched very thin at this time and if the Dark Angels attacked quickly they might overwhelm the Orcs before they could build up enough strength to make the plan futile. Acting swiftly, Belial stripped as many troops as he dared from the forces battling Gaskul at Catalus Harbor and defending Cothridge and prepared to launch a counterattack on the Orcs main base. These are the forces which will counterattack the Orcs in this scenario. Um, the army is led by Master Belial. Um, he's equipped with a power sword, power fist, and a variety of different um, grenades. He's wearing power armor, and he, he's got three strategy, uh, not strategy cards, a walker cards, a displacer field, a bionic eye, and seeking ammo. No jump pack this time? No. Okay. Because I used the jump pack on okay. the interrogator chaplain, um, who is equipped with a jump pack. Uh, and of course, his course is Arcanum, which provides him with a 4 plus unmodified save. And last but not least, from the character section, I've got one tech marine. Um, he has two warrior cards, uh, the conversion field, and digital lasers. From the squad section I have a squad of 10 assault marines. They're all equipped with jump packs although I think uh, half of the squad uh, is displayed without a jump pack but for this scenario they all were jump packs and are led by a veteran sergeant um, who is equipped with a power fist. And as a special weapon I this included... One or yeah, this one? No, this one. This okay. One. Rope. And I included one guy with a, a flamer, let's say the guy with the plasma, plasma mm -hmm. gun instead. Um, furthermore, from the squad section, I have a um, Deathwing Terminator squad. Um, one guy is really equipped with um, two lightning claws, with a pair mm -hmm. of lightning claws. And the guy um, wielding the assault can uh, instead has a heavy flamer. And also from the squad section as a special rule for the uh, Dark Angels, the Ravenwing Landspeeder with Assault Cannon and Heavy Bolter with Targeters. And last but not least, one um, vehicle included from the, from, the, from the support section is a Dreadnought also armed as shown on the model Assault Cannon and Power Fist with a built-in Storm Bolter. Okay, these are almost 1500 points. Hoping they will survive the battle and smash the Orc forces. Uh, 
Okay, and these are my 1,350 points I failed and therefore don't have a 1,500 point force. Uh, the army is commanded by Nuxtrake, this is the work in progress with his Mega Armor, Bowie Pistol, Power Fist and Sword. He's got a custom shooter as well. Uh, the others may use his leadership within 12 inches and he's got a targeter. Then I've got one big boss, it's a model I've nearly uh, succeeded in finishing for this campaign. I might be using this one as Gaskell later on because my Gaskell, uh, Gaskell has been bathing in acid for the last two months and you can still see a strange base coat. This model has got a displacer field and a jump pack. The jump pack is not shown on the model. Bull pistol, power fist and sword. And I've got a second big boss, the one Alex gave me for my birthday. And he's got a bull pistol, sword, power fist, riding a cyborg. And he's got a spike arm and a custom force field. And the fourth character is a mechanic with telescopic legs and a flamer. Uh, he's only got a bow pistol and a sword and some grenades, but I didn't have points or more points I could spend on characters. And then we've got a mob of 11 Scar Boys. I started some paint jobs on them and they are joined by a goth knob. The knob has got a power sword and a sword whereas the others have only got bow pistol axes and six of them have got swords. To be honest, I didn't even have arms. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got five storm boys. We've got one flamer. Let's say the chainsaw wielding model is the one who has got the flamer. Bow pistols and axes and swords. And I've got two squads of knobs. One of them has got heavy weapons, one heavy bolter and two missile launchers, and the others is gripped for close combat. They've got power swords and axes and bow pistols. And then I've got three death skulls. And because of the loss of the 150 points, I haven't I wasn't able to include any vehicles and not even that much concerning heavy weapons so they've got two custom left and the one in the middle has got a heavy bolter so i've got six heavy weapons in total and then i've got 20 gretchen uh, by now six of them are painted because i did one of them around 1998 alex painted another one for me i don't know which one it's probably this oh, one okay. And I did the other four. And then we've got 16 Goff boys left. And within the next one or two months, we should have at least five or six of them fully painted. And there's an old one. They were made of metal. They are probably from the start of box. Dark Millennium. Okay, and this is my army. And there's another important choice left, the choice uh, of which beer Alex would like for this battle, because I'll be drinking the other fives. Okay. <laughs> or each of us drinks one before each turn. Yeah. Uh, well, boy, that's a great choice, to be honest. I think this one is a special Easter beer, uh, so maybe we'll drink that in a couple of weeks. Uh, maybe I start today with the Weltenburger Klosterpilz. It's from a really old brewery. I think it's founded yeah. 1050. Yeah. That's uh, almost a thousand years old, those monastery. Um, and the monks uh, obviously still brew their beer. <laughs> uh, and I think I will choose this one. Great choice. And we'll be back with our deployment and special rules. Okay, as you can see, we are using a larger table this time. We are back in the old wargaming room, at least for a short period of time. And I was asked to roll for each character and squad 
don't have any vehicles of my army if they go into army A or B. Uh, and then I was allowed to choose one to set up first and the others because I was lucky most of them ruled the same group. So I decided that the Storm Boys, the Death Skulls and my mob of one knob and 11 scar boys would begin the battle later as a kind of reserves i have to roll for them if i roll one to four they may enter the game from my table edge but at least i think 12 inches away from one of your models and if i roll five or six they'll enter the match through the portal and the portal is the place where I set up the knobs with heavy weapons and they are joined by the goths. And there's a goth big boss, the one I painted for the scenario. And over there, it's my mechanic, the work in progress nutstrack is hiding behind a rock on the hill. So I think I don't know where your voices are or which of the two objectives your forces will prioritize. So you should reach both of them within one or two turns. And the close combat knobs in Mega Armor are over there behind the screen of Gretchen. Six brave ones fully painted. And there's the second big boss. Uh, Alex Speaking of the victory conditions, uh, I will enter the battlefield from this side, uh, depending on the speed of my troops, when they will enter. And my objective is to capture either the power plant yeah. or we use the Imperial the, Bastion as a replacement. Or the teleporter. So that would be a crucial victory if I manage to, um, yeah, to gain access to one of the two buildings yeah. um, so you've got and hold them holding meaning um, no more orcs within four inches than space marines at the end of the game um, if i fail to achieve this then the victory points will basically uh, calculate it as in the dark really long. Yeah. as normal yeah with some special rules yeah okay so uh as we are playing five or six turns? Uh, six turns, six and turns. Space Marines start with turn one. Yeah, so we'll be back after Alex movement phase. Yes, that's the first turn of the Stark Angel Space Marine chapter. Uh, at the beginning I played Divine Inspiration, a strategy card, which means that all my troops have plus one for the leadership for the battle. And as you can see, only one <laughs> unit arrived in my first turn uh, because it has the highest movement rate and he entered the battlefield at slow speed. And um, in the shooting phase, I will target the Gretchens. Mm -hmm. And it's a Ravenwing lane speeder. I just oh. used this model because my three others okay, are Okay, first with the heavy bolter against the Gretchens. Yeah. I will hit on a two, yeah. Successful hit and two sustain fire dice. So four hits. hits. That's maybe the first four. Yeah. Get up there. From okay. the gunner's point of view. Oh, okay, we will. Mm -hmm. um, Strength hit. toughness two plus. Mm -hmm. two plus. Five versus somewhat. So four. so four are dead. No armor safe possible. We've only got flag armor, I think. And then you have. No, it's and a risk. It's, it's risky. Cretion. You've got an assault can left. I see one yeah. Gretchen, to be honest. And the risk to jam your assault can uh, or to exp. I think I will um, therefore finish the shooting phase. Yeah. There is no psychic phase, no hand to hand combat phase, no rally phase. So basically, that's the end of my first turn. I do have to take a break test. I don't think so. There are 4 out of 20. Yeah. Okay, then only 20% are killed. And that's the end of my first turn. After my first turn, I was allowed to add 
one unit from the other battle group, which are, this one stumbled, probably stumbled, the Death Skulls, as they aren't able to shoot their, or to use their heavy weapons, I make them run towards over there, and all of the others went on Overwatch, except for the three knobs, and one of them can use his missile launcher onto the Ravenwing land speeder at the opposite side of the table. Uh, because of the chink, I can only hit on a three, so it's a crack missile. I'll be using no, uh, the usual bad luck. Okay, so this one survives. I don't have a psyker, and that's the end of my first turn. Welcome back, guys, to the second movement phase of, of the Dark Angels. As you can see, my Jump Marines, the Assault Squad, including the Chaplain, have entered the play and jumped behind the small wood. Whereas my Raven Lang Speeder um, advanced, a little. advanced 10 inches at slow speed in order to use its pop up attacks. And on my right flank, the Trapnot has arrived the battle and moved only 6 inches in order to use his weapons against the orcs on the opposite side of the battlefield. Multiple but weapons. Before I can shoot, Marcus will use his Overwatch. We already calculated uh, that 5 questions required to hit the Raven Lane Speeder on a 5 plus with the uh, auto pistol. I can only hope for hitting the crew. Uh. So one hit. Okay, on six, let's see where I hit okay, three. No, I've only got no. That's not enough. I think I've only got D6 plus three. Yeah. So you can't hit the mm -hmm. And then your army commander has announced to use his custom. Uh, they aren't to... good at shooting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The army commander will hit on two. The crack missile lost. Five Gretchen. Okay, oh, two. this one hit for sure. And then I've got two Sustain Fire dice on the regular squad, not onto. I can't target the interrogator chaplain because he's inside the squad. Okay, so three, three hits. Three different ones, I suppose. Yeah. And now you have to roll your stretch while you're adding. Oh! Oh, misfire. Oh, so Six. Six against. Toughness 4 is two three plus. times 2 plus. So 2 wounds and I've it's got... It's only minus 2, so you've got 5 plus power on my saves. Minus 3. Oh, it's no, it's just no. Ah, it's not... Yeah. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter. The strength yeah. of the weapon, you have only minus 2, so no. So 2 are dead. 2 are dead and this is no break test. So, until then now, yeah. and now I'm using my land speeder. Uh, I think I start with the revolter against the corrections. You hit two six and five dice. I think three is on three mm -hmm. different runs. Will be killed two plus two plus, so three are down. Maybe three unpainted ones. Yeah. And I use the assault cannon as well. It hits, causing five hits in total. But I think I can't distribute them. It's within four inches, so let's say it's. Uh, There's a chance we put the marker beside these, it. Yeah. So, how many can I do? First of oh, all? Let's see. No. Okay, two more ones. Please. Yeah. The painted ones. And three. Okay. Three more are down. One, two, three. Just remove the one yeah. one set. Okay, and one gem on the assault can. We figure this out later. And on and we I go. Start with my dreadnought using this assault can on the orcs. Yeah, he hits. Four times. No gem, that's great. No. Maybe on four or maybe on those yeah. three. So two on the middle one. Yeah. And 
Oh, only two? Okay. Two are down. Yeah. I'll take Just remove those. Yeah. And you've got thing. one storm boulder left with 24. But I think the distance will be too large. I think it yeah. might work. 24. Just try. No, it's more than 24. Okay. Okay, that's the end of my shooting phase, and my second turn has ended as well. Yeah, and your forces seem to be inbound in order to take this one. Uh, it says more space marines than orcs, so if you'd written it, there's a space marine inside, kills all of them at the portal, you fun. So we're back at the end of the movement turn of my uh, movement phase of my second turn. As you can see, the orcs have advanced. The Goth boys advanced onto the dreadnought. They ran out of the portal, my scar boys with the knob. And they just remained in order to use their two missile launchers onto the dreadnought. The heavy bolter won't, yeah, won't be the suitable choice of weapon against the dreadnought. And I think, to be honest, he's not able to see any of the other space marines and he can't go on overwatch alone. So my mechanic, not strike, the death skulls, the remaining Gretchen, and the other knobs went on overwatch as well. So all I can do without any psychers is do some shooting. Uh, I've got two dice. I think both of them should hit on twos because I've got a ballistic skill of four as well as targeters. Two crack missiles. Yep. Let's see where I hit. Six and three. Okay, that's the right arm and the body. Okay, and I'll be doing, I think, D10 plus D6 plus 8 is the arm D10 penetration. D10 plus D6 plus 8, and I'll probably need the highest scores. Okay, where do we want to hit first, the arm or the body? Oh, well, let's do the arm first. Okay. Which one is it? The right arm. The assault arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Five plus eight is thirteen. That's not enough. Okay, and the other one. <laughs> oh, that's really. 11, that's, yeah, even less. that's miserable. Yeah. Okay, so no. No damage done. So that's the end of your turn, I suppose. Yeah. That's the end of the movement phase of the third turn of the Dark Angels. Um, the rest of the Dark Angels army arrived on the battlefield. Master Belial ran 8 inches towards the power plant. The um, Rail Langsmitter remained stationary in order to use its pop-up attack. My assault marines, including the interrogator chaplain, used their jump packs in order to close the distance to the power plant. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the Overwatch fire killed, I think, four or five of the assault squad, so only four are remaining. And on my right flank, the Terminators and the Tech Marine I moved four inches to close the distance to the Orcs. Yeah. So, I think after you fight your Overwatch in my movement phase, we can start with my shooting phase. Yeah. So Let's go from, from left to right. right. Yeah. Now my three remaining assault marines use their bolt pistols. Okay. Will I think hit on, on two, two plus. plus? Okay, yeah. two hits. Two times times four toughness three. Or no, no, that's, <laughs> no, that's really as bad as my shooting. Then let's but see. you've got one heavy you bolt and one flamer left. Let's say three. Yeah. Oh, three plus. Okay, so three are killed. The roof the unpainted ones. Yeah. Okay, and you have a bolter and because the assault is changed. Yeah. I think he got one bolt pistol as well. So on a two? No. Yep. No. 
and the assault can is jammed. Yeah. So I can remove the marker for this turn and use my heavy bolter on the Gretchens. Oh, yeah, with the targeter. Yeah. So three hits. So three different ones. Two plus to kill. So three are dead. So the unpainted one and two mm -hmm. of the painted ones. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So that was the shooting on this side, and so then now I use my assault gun with the dreadnought once more on the box. We've been discussing this, so um, Alex may choose which one he's aiming at, and then spread his fire within four I think inches. It's the closest one. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure because they said you made even a nominate a single point where you aim your grenade at. So just choose one and then within four inches. I just didn't. Okay. Four hits. Let's say this three. Okay, two on the middle one. Strength toughness, yep. He's gone. And the others, yeah. yeah. All three are gone. Maybe I'll um, do some complicated. <laughs> okay, and then. And then you've got a heavy bolter left and the power fist arm and then your no, terminator. A storm bolter. A storm bolter. Yeah. Hit and sustain fire if you want to, because right. otherwise you might so. generate a jam. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another one down. I hmm, oh, it's getting complicated. I remove this one mm, for yeah. him. And then I don't know if they have the, uh, the range to use their storm bolters. I think storm bolters have got twenty four. Exactly yeah. as regular ones, yeah. but you, but you risk jamming. Yeah. So three can fire, let's say. Okay. So three times hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. So two hits. Two sustain fire dice if you want to do so. Four. Yeah. Hits in total. So let's see two choose the. Okay. And it's four, four versus, versus four. Four versus four. It's four plus. Four plus. So three. Maybe we move them three unpainted yeah. ones. One, two, three, because of squad okay. currency, one, uh, Okay, I think that was the end of my shooting phase. Do you have to perform a prep test? Yeah. Okay. I think the questions maybe as well. Okay, so he walks. Seven. That's okay for them. Okay, any questions? The Gretchen should benefit from the army commander. We'll re-roll or look it up. No, no, no. Yeah. That's too much. But we've it's got one. Aha. Mm -hmm. We've got insane courage. So they're not broken at all. Yeah. Okay. Then that's the end of my third turn. And they may do. It's getting uh, more difficult. Because you may play this card instead of rolling the dice when you attempt to rally broken squad. The squad is truly inspired and rallies automatically. Furthermore, the troops leap straight back into action without pause. The squad may immediately take a normal turn, so they may, for example, move and fire or charge into end-to-end -end combat or go into overwatch or whatever. After this initial burst of activity, the squad acts as normal from the player's next turn onwards, and maybe no, okay, I save this are, because it says broken. yeah, they, they it says instead of rolling the yeah. dice, you attempt for rally. So yeah. now they are broken and uh, get behind cover, and you can use it in your rally phase yeah. if you want to. Okay, and that's the end of Alex's third turn. Now they are closing in. Okay, we are back after the movement phase of my third turn. And as you can see, my knobs, the close combat knobs, remain stationary in order to be able to use the bolt pistols with another plus two on the unlucky space marines down there. Uh, the last missing orc mob has entered the game, the storm boys. My I've got this one. The Gretchens will try to do their rally test later on. 
and or I maybe I could use the stretchy card later on. And he went on overwatch, they went on overwatch in case they try to use the jump packs in order to get into close combat with the knobs. They're going to shoot, he's going to shoot as well as them, the knobs and mega armor. Um, they went on overwatch as well, the scar boys. And they, the remaining goths, including the goth big boss, try to hide behind over there. And this one, it's another one I forgot, is going to go on overwatch as well. So we've got three, we've got shooting three times. Let's do my army commander first. Uh, it's onto the regular squad once more. It's two plus to hit. Yep. Two Sustain Fire Dice, four hits, that's great. One, two, three, four. One hit each, but I have to roll the strengths first. Maybe it's a misfire or a one. No, it's an eight, that's great. Because now I think they are gone. Strength toughness two plus, all of them. And you've got Two saves because it's although it's strings eight, it's only so Alex removed the sergeant and kept the flamer and the regular guy and the interrogator chaplain. And it's another break test, I think, although the, you are leadership 11 by now. And then we've got them three times bull pistols. To hit on two plus onto the regular ones. Three hits. Strength toughness four versus four is four plus. Only two, and you've got two four plus power armor saves. Another one is dead. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, the flame is gone. So you've got your interrogator left. Mm -hmm. And then over there, we've got our heavy bolter in the two missile launchers. I think the heavy bolt is lucky yeah, because he's able, he's only able to see these ones. So it's onto the squad, the remaining squad, but the chaplain is included and I can distribute within four inches. Um, to hit, one is not enough, but the two missile launches onto the dreadnought. Poor, double ones. I could, because they scatter, yeah. I could hope, but you can't roll a one. Yeah. It's stupid, so let's leave it out. Now for a rally phase, do you want to rally them or use your card? I think I really do so. Because they can let forward and shoot. Yeah. And they'll even hit probably on. Normally they hit on fours, but now they should hit on threes. Insane courage. Yep, four hits. But it's only on five strings. Three versus toughness four. Only two of them and two power. Oh, that's bad. Being killed or shot by Gretchen. Okay, and I think that's the end of my third turn. Okay, that's the end of the movement phase of my fourth turn. Um, as you can see, my dissolved squad, I think it was killed already in your last turn. Wasn't um, it? No, most of them were overwatch shots. This turn, okay, they are yeah. completely wiped out. The authority to regret the ship and manage to charge the knobs in, or at least one knob in mega armor. My rim length speeder went on fast speed and is no. now positioned behind the power plant. He's got an unchained assault cannon and heavy bolter. The lion yeah. has ran 8 inches towards the power plant, as well as my terminators, and my dreadnought moved 6 inches towards the enemy. Okay. 
Let's start with shooting. A lot of armor inbound. Uh, my dreadnought shoots at the with the assault guns. Yeah. Hit. Oh, five hits in total. In long term. Yeah. So let's this one and yeah. Can I distribute on five different ones or only on those yeah, four? Technically, if if another four are within four inches. Okay, that's just four. Yeah. So two plus two wound. So four are dead. Okay. Then I use my built-in stone bolter to hit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two hits on two different ones. Strength toughness. So one. One. Yeah. So another one down. Mm -hmm. Those quarters ran completely. Yeah. As well as my army commander, this is a first close combat. And there's the, and the last shooting. I think shooting. I have to shoot at the closest target yeah. is the boss on the boss. The big boss. Yeah. So and you've got first, two weapons, uh, both the later twos. No, and the revolver. Yes. Okay, just roll. So four hits in total. Mm -hmm. Oops. So what's your toughness? Maybe five. I've got a toughness of five. Okay, so four plus two wounds. Yeah. So two wounds. Two wounds. With minus two. That's eight forty five. Might even survive because this one has got a two plus save. Okay, minus two is four plus armor save. Yeah, two times. Two times. No. And he's got a custom force field mm -hmm. which makes. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I have to roll. You have got two, two hits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your strength five, then I roll a d6 for the first one mm -hmm. and deduct it from the, your strengths. So it's now strengths minus two, it's mm -hmm. strengths three. And the next one is a six. Okay, on the roll of a six, the hit is automatically stopped, but the orc suffers a strength three hit instead as the field shorts out and gives him a nasty shock. Okay, so this is the discarded. One hit is stopped and the other one has to be repeated at a strength of three against toughness five, which is probably six. But I got four hits in total. Yeah. And I rolled two hits, but uh, yeah. I have to roll again because of your four one, hit. one of them, yeah. So four hits with strength three. Okay. And then I re-roll. Yeah. I deduct the number of hits. So two wounds. Mm -hmm. And they are... The first one is reduced. Okay. Yep. First armor save. And the second one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then I think that's the end of my shooting phase. And we can do the close combat phase. Where you will prevail because I've only got one parry against your two. I use my power sword and a bolt pistol or whatever. Okay. I choose the same. Yeah. Uh, five and one. That's six plus five is eleven, charging twelve. Mm -hmm. And I've got power sword and bolt pistol as well. I've got. Ten, so you've got two hits with okay, your power so sword. Power sword is three plus two wound. One two wound plus. dealt. Your uh, minus three, so my two plus becomes a five plus. No, and I've got a four plus unmod. No, so the first one is dead, and this is really important uh, because every orc counts, not every Gretchen. Okay, do you have to perform a prank test? I do so, but I think it's on the army commander. Nine. Yeah. You can measure it's 12 okay. inches. Yeah. No, it's not. Within. Okay. So the small ones whoop, are broken for the moment. Okay. Then that's the end of my fourth film. Okay, we are back of the movement phase of my fourth turn. 
Uh, as you can see, my big boss riding the Cypher hit the button yeah, and really made it up all the stairs towards the mating inter uh, interrogator jet plane, whereas they remain stationary in order to do some bolt pistol shots and the flamer against the land speeder. They are still broken and they went on overwatch. My army commander is going to try and fire his weapon against the land speeder. They went on overwatch, maybe yeah, successfully killing the interrogated chaplain after jumping down or the advancing enemy army commander. They went on overwatch, they advanced, trying to use their bull pistols, but I've announced it, I've measured and they are out of range. So with only the shooting from my army commander and the storm boys and these three guys with the heavy weapons onto the dreadnought and the terminators. Let's start over there from left to right. We've got two crack missiles aimed at the dark anxious dreadnought. Both hitting on twos because, yeah, two hits. Let's see where they hit. Three and three. Okay. So the 10 plus the 6 yeah. plus 8. Last time it S was really four. bad. Okay, let's do the first one. And now we've got... 7 plus 8 is 15. No, that's not enough. And the next one is probably not even... That's not even yeah. less. Okay. It's so rubbish. Yeah. Should have brought better troops. Okay, my army commander on a 3. Mm -hmm. On the rear and wing land speeder. No. No. And then we've got four bolt pistols onto the land speeder on fives. Three of them. Let's see where they hit. Uh, one, three, and five. One time the crew, two times the land speeder itself. Okay, crew. One, two, three is the driver. No, it's the gunner. Strength, toughness, four plus. Yep. Minus one, you've got a four plus armor safe left. Yep. Okay, nothing happened, but now we've got our flamer, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they both are. Uh, both are probably under uh, the template. We won't roll for the vehicle because I won't be able. I think not even from, the, from the side. side. But they have, yeah, from the front, you maybe. Able to penetrate the armor, but from the side not. It's okay. higher. Interesting. So it's ten from the front yeah. and twelve from the side and rear for the land speeder. It's strength. So Who two, is first? The two crews, two times. Gunner or driver? Four versus four, two times four plus two. Wood. Okay, the the driver is first. So four plus. Yep, and the gunner four plus. No. So the gunner. No. Would be able is able to take over if he spends the next yeah. turn trying to regain the controls. But I think you have to check if if he is set on flame. Okay. Four plus, he is flame. The other one, yeah. no. Okay, then he will take over. Yeah. Next turn. Okay, then. So it'll go out of control and then take over, and then we've got our single, our first, I think, close combat left. And this time I've got I've got lots of attacks because I've hit you know, the button. I've got four attacks. I've got the steeds attacks as well, plus a fifth one for two close combat weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay. And red button adds another D4 attacks. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's a lot. Thing. Yeah. Okay. I got three, three, one. Okay, I've one got another attack. one. So it's five plus one is six. Well, that's yeah. a lot. So the cop is out of nine. Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. Four one, ones. One yeah. Is cancelled out. One fumble is cancelled out. He will out. survive. And then I've got. 
I've got five, nine charging, ten. Okay, I've got nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. So you got. I've only got ten. Ten. Yeah. Okay, so two hits. Five versus. Toughness five is for plus. One. Okay, one is through. Um, minus three. And which weapon were you using? A power sword. A power sword. Okay, I've got a two plus, which is now a five plus. No, so I've suffered one wound. And I think I've already burned out my custom force field because of rolling a six back then. So one wound dealt to me, so I probably should have used the Storm Boys to support my attack. Okay, that's I think the end. That's the end of my fourth turn, I think. Yeah. Okay. Turn of the Dark Angels, Master Belial, uh, lacking a little bit of speed, <laughs> is still stuck behind the wood. Uh, whereas the Interrogator Chaplain is still stuck in close combat against the Wild Boar. My gunner uh, took over the Raven and Landspeeder and threw it no, no, seven no, no, inches towards yeah. the um, enemy battle line. Whereas my Dreadnought moved 6 inches in order to use his weapons, whereas my Terminators, including the Tech Marine, ran 8 inches in order to reach at least the quarter of the enemy battlefield by the end of the 6th turn. Okay, let's start with the shooting phase. Um, well, I think the only model which can shoot is the Dreadnought using his Assault Cannon against the Orcs. Yeah. Okay, he hits. Three Sustain Fire Dice. Causing one wound. But can you re -roll two one? You can re-roll one Dreadnought. jam, and therefore a Dreadnought mounted Assault Cannon can never jam. I can never explode, I think. Uh, okay, so... Because of the advanced core No, I think uh, if you roll three gems, oh. I think uh, it explodes. Okay. But there's one special favor because of the, yeah. the better cooling equipment. Okay, so two... Two times. Two yeah. plus, so two down. Okay. And then the built-in stone bolter hits. Hits. Two times. Yeah, strength toughness for plus. One more is down. One more, okay. Okay, then break test and the end of the shooting phase. Oh, they yeah. really courage those cowboys. <laughs> okay, so yeah, again, the interrogator chaplain. Yeah. Oh, two sixes, that's good. That's great. And now I think I've only got because the D4 was special, and I have only got the 5, because 2 ohm, 3rd, 4. 6 plus 6 is 12, 13. Okay, I've got... I've got 13 as well, but I've got a spike arm, and this one means that I'm considered to have the high initiative, so okay, it's so one hit with a power fist. One time. Yeah, strength toughness, mm -hmm. five. So I use my Kotsus Arcanum. Yeah. Uh, which I don't successfully use. Then you get one wound. One wound for the it's tough going over well. there. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, and that's the end of my fifth turn. It's a rally phase. Maybe you can try to rally your yeah. knobs. Two times. Okay, yep. they are no longer no, fine, and so I've and got that's the end of my fifth turn. Uh, I think my main problem has swapped from this side, where I could have more orcs than Alex Space Marines by having them jump in, to this side, where Alex has got one Space Marine incorporated in a dreadnought and six other survivors. So we are back after my fifth movement phase, and as you can see, he remained in close combat, and they remain stationary in order to use their bolt pistols onto the newly commandeered 
lens speeder, they turned in order to be able to shoot. Uh, they turned as well as did the army commander just fell down and broke off his arm. They tried to target the Terminators and the Dreadnought once more, although uh, there was one case of close combat, yeah, because the big boss used his jump pack, his regular jump pack, to get closer to the enemy lines. Okay, and he moved into the enemy's quarter of the battlefield. So, first of all, we've got some shooting to be done. Let's say the flame is out of range. So we've got five shots, five bolt pistol shots. One, two, three, four, five. And we've already measured it. Only two of them get the plus two bonus. So, three times on fives. Two of them, let's see where I hit. Five and six from yes, the back yeah. is probably... That's 12. Okay, I won't be able to do so. And two times on sixes. No. And then I've got two guys with their bolt guns on twos. Both of them, let's see where. One and five. Crew and okay, crew, strength, toughness for plus. No. And then we've only got our three death skulls. Let's do the heavy boulder first. Yep, this one hit for sure. Five hits. And this time, yeah. Two times the crew. Two times crew. Strength, toughness, three plus. Both of them. So he's dead unless he rolls. No. Oh, maybe. I think the heavy bolter is only minus, minus two. two. Yeah, yeah. So he survived. And so we've got three hull. It's the. So the heavy bolter has an all penetration of d6 plus 5 plus d4. Mm -hmm. And you're from the front. So That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, one time through. Okay, second time. Yeah, third time. Seven plus five. Yeah, okay, three times penetrated. So, what's the result? Maybe let's check the number. Two, four. three, four. The Landspear's engine crashes two to six away from the direction. Mm -hmm. Anything? Okay, so two to six in a random direction. So, nine inches. Maybe here. Yeah. Okay, so we can remove it. Okay, this one is gone. And then... And then we and over there. I've only got... I don't want my army commander to shoot into the close combat. So... Hmm. Okay, then your knobs. The knobs, four of them, all pistols, hitting on fours onto the terminators, only one hit, strength toughness for plus, yep, and one three plus terminator save, yep, did it. And then the heavy bolter is, oh no, we agreed that one of them is able to see them as well, to hit. Yep, five strength toughness, four plus, yep, and one three plus, no, oh, oh. so there's a turn me down. And then we've got the knobs and mega armor left. Okay, heavy bolter guy, that's oh. bad, and two times the miserable crack missiles from the missile launchers onto the dreadnought, uh -huh. both of them hit. Let's see where. It's a body. Yeah. And it will be the usual plus plus rubbish, eight. as always. 10 plus 8 is 8, you know, for Salma. I think you can't even, that's 16. Okay. Is, no, that's 8 plus 8 is 16. Yeah. Plus 6 is 20. Oh, is it plus 10? Yeah. Okay, then I use my applicative armor. Okay. So it's bad. Okay. 
That was the shooting phase, then onto the first code. Where do you want to start? Over there? Over there? Okay, let's do over there. Because there's your tech marine against my big boss, the golf big boss with this blazer jump pack, power okay. fist and sword. Then I use my digital lasers yeah. three times, hitting the twos. Yeah. And uh, three half versus five. Okay, maybe six plus. No? No. Okay. And then I roll my regular dice. Two ones, that's bad. And Alex doesn't have a one. So I've got, I think I've got 12 only. I've got 13. So I use my power fist. Mm -hmm. Plus. Yeah. And then I've got, I don't have a regular arm, I've only got my displacer. No. So I suffer one wound. Okay. Then. The and the other one. So I've got 4 plus 6 is 10. Mm -hmm. And I've got 5 dice. One, one for you. 11. And I've got, I think I've got 11 as well, but get one mm -hmm. power fist hit because mm -hmm. of my spike arm. No, even more because I've got plus one weapon skill for one. having my your conversion probably oh, or is it power conversion. armor normally it's the armor the power first and then power armor safe. okay so use my conversion field yeah uh, four plus you will be blinded no yeah okay that's the end of your fifth turn okay last turn of the dark angels to be honest, that's not much left of the once mighty army. <laughs> uh, yeah, Master Belial was a quite a nonsense disappointment this team because we never reached any class combat, nor did he sh use his shooting ability. The chaplain again, oh, we are once more in close combat. Um, the Deathwing two of the Turnesses charge into the close combat, whereas the guy with Silver Flame at least using one Cesare Flamer in order to target three of the Scarboys and my Dreadnought rush forward to occupy the quarter of the battlefield. Okay, so the only shooting which I can do with the Heavy Flamer, so three guys are yeah. below the template. Strength five, as the toughness four is on three. No. But they'll burn on, no, no. that's oh, really bad. Okay. Yeah. This was bad. That for this shooting, mm -hmm. I think that's the end. Of yeah. the shooting phase, so the close combat phase, maybe starting over there because it's easier. Because the most it's interesting phase. one. So 6 plus 6 is 12. Uh, I think now you've got me. If I don't have. Oh, that's really great because I've got 14. 5 plus 6 is 11 plus. One weapon skill from a spike arm. It's 12. It's 12, 13, 14. 13, 14. So two hits. Two hits with a power fist, strength toughness 2 plus. Oh, <laughs> wow! I'm lucky we've got this on video. Congrats for your toughness. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we have here? I okay. think I start with the normal. Oh, We've got some monsters inbound, uh, Terminators. No, I think I start with surrounded. the Terminator with the Lightning Claws. Okay. He's surrounded by guys wielding. So I've got 4 plus 5 is 9, charging 10. Okay. So I'll use my Power Fist and Sword. You've got 10. Okay, roll the 6, please. I've got... I, I, I've got 2 pairs okay. because with a pair of Lightning Claws. Yeah. Okay, no, this was lucky. I've got an 11. I've got oh. 10. 9, charging 10, 1 from you, 11, yeah. Okay, okay so you've got Strange one hit. toughness, 2 plus. Yeah, you may. And lightning claw minus, minus, minus lot. Five. So I've only got my displacer left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, de uh, to be displaced after the end of the close combat. Okay, on we go. Okay, then I... I think I use the Tech Marine next. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's got three attacks. Okay, so that's bad. Okay, I've got 11, 12, 13 at least. I've got 11. So two hits with? Power fist. Two plus. Yeah. Okay, then I, I use think my he's conversion gone. field. So he got one wound. And he's dead because he's only got one wound. Ah, he got only one wound. Yeah. Okay, but, but you, you might blind me. On a four plus, no? No. Okay, Marine is gone. Okay. He's gone. And the last Terminator. Well, now you should have three attacks. That's so not it's bad. six but plus five. You is can't parry. Yeah. So please reroll the six because I've got a power fist oh. and a sword. Okay, so I've got five plus four is nine, charging ten plus two is twelve in total. Okay. It's oh, more than me. I've only got nine. So you've got. Nine. I've got three hits. Twelve. Okay. Three times power fist. Yeah. Strength toughness two plus. Yeah. Yep. And three times displacer. Minus a lot. Yeah. So I need three threes. Otherwise I'm dead because I've already suffered one wound. So the dead carcass. Yeah. Of this one is going to be discarded somewhere. In no man's land. Okay, that's the end of my sixth turn. So on to your last turn of the game. In my final turn, as you can see, I haven't moved much. My mech mechanic I painted for this scenario came out of cover in order to enter the quarter which is occupied by Alex army commander and they remain where they are only one of them maybe is able to use his bolt pistol onto the enemy as are they and the heavy weapons will try their luck onto the terminators and the dreadnought but so far it has proved to be invulnerable and they jumped over there, some of them entering close combat in order to support my big boss. Yeah. Or deviate a lot. And that's what we'll do right now, because it's some fun box stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Using their Storm Voice jump packs. And this comes first before our close combats or shootings, because our snowboy jump pack is a little different. Okay, we we'll have to use an artillery dice. This is one, which has the misfire result on it. And we'll have the score rolled as the artillery dice is printed with the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. This means that the jump pack can deviate from 1 to 5 inches. If you roll a misfire on the artillery dice, then something has gone dis disastrously wrong with the, uh, within the jump. Roll the six. Okay. You roll the, uh, as long. The, uh, scatter that as well to yeah. check in which direction it deviates. Okay. Okay. One? The first one. It's on target. Also one inch in this direction. Oh, oh is it, is on it is on target. Okay. Yeah. Then the second one. On Five. On target, first close combat die, five 10, inch. which is 5. So Over there, second one, oh, 3 inches. So only my brave quick boss is in close combat. Okay. Okay, on to the shooting phase. And shooting will be done by... First, we've got one of them being able to see one of the Terminators. On, yeah, 
no, that's not enough. But this is grade three, should be in fours. And three times, four times, the small ones. I don't think I'm within eight inches in order to get the close range bonus. Yeah, so it's two times, four and six. Strength toughness, four versus four. So on fours, two times, and you've got two Terminator saves and threes. Yeah. And then I've only got my three heavy weapon wielding orcs left. The heavy bolter is going to try his luck on the first two Terminators. He hasn't hit anything so far, but this time, two dice, one and two. Uh -huh. Strength five versus toughness four is on threes. Yep, the second one, no. So the first one has got a minus uh -huh. two. Yeah, he survived. And then we've got two missile launchers, closest uh -huh. range imaginable. Uh, already. On twos. One of them. Penetrates the six. So once again, six plus eight. Oh, good game. Yeah. No, that's and rubbish. Okay. That's always. Enough to shooting first. So one plus combat left. I'm still chaplain. Okay, I got six plus six is twelve. That's a lot. Now you probably got me. Get one through, and I've only got. 6 plus 5 is 11, so you've got 2 hits. Yeah, strength toughness, 4 is... Yeah, 4 is enough. So it's 2 times 5 plus 1 of them, but I've already suffered a wound, so he's dead because he's only a big boss. Right. Yeah. It's a moral victory for the time, <laughs> at least. No, it's not just a moral victory. The chaplain yeah. occupied at least the power plant. Hmm. But there are too many enemies besides him. I think we calculate the victory points because I failed to occupy the power plant because there are more orcs than me. Yeah. Uh, and as well as the teleporter because there are more orcs than the lonely dreadnought. And I think we'll back with the conclusion after the victory points calculation. Okay, guys, that's the end, and congratulations to Marcus. Thank you. Who won the battle by victory points of 7 to 5. Yeah, I was lucky. I think at the end. Yeah, if another squad had um, broken. Yeah, but... Like the Storm Boys. Yeah. I think the main problem from my approach was that um, only I can only spend one character a jump pack. And so Master Belial, although he was the, maybe the most costly character, didn't fire a single shot or um, get into hand-to-hand -hand combat at all. Uh, whereas the Interrogator Chaplain proved to be very tough and of, of course a little bit luck was at hand because I think Marcus rolled two times a one for the strange toughness for the power fist and uh, probably that would have been the end of the chaplain but nevertheless at the, in the end he managed to uh, kill the cyborg and its rider um, i think the dreadnought was also very good he survived and it was invulnerable yeah. also i think he didn't kill so much enemies with his assault can i think a few scarboys and a few goth orcs I think the main problem was really that the only really mobile unit, the assault units were at the start of the battle reduced uh, rather fast due to your custom shooters and overwatch fire and bolt pistols and whatever. So there were only two or three left and they didn't even reach close combat. I think I think in the last jump yeah. they were killed completely. So. I think one of them flamed maybe four questions or so, but uh, in the end, That's they difficult. were really yeah, a little bit disappointing, the Assault Marines, to be honest. I think the first time when I played this against Tube, I can't even remember which units I used, 
when I played against you, and back then I played the Dark Angels, mm. I'm pretty sure I uh, used five Assault Marines with jump packs and had the other five mounted in a Razor pack because this was one of the models I painted mm. and maybe yeah, but it's, included. Uh, yeah, it's okay. also quite risky strategy because yeah. maybe... Yeah, and in the second edition, mounting troops in uh, tanks and is... Mounting creating them in coffins. <laughs> coffins <yeah. laughs> and but I, I would probably have given the jump pack to the army commander because he's by... Yeah, he's the most potent warrior. Mm. And maybe um, don't use the chaplain and instead maybe an attack bike. Yeah. Um, because I have to take the tech marine in order to field the uh, dreadnought and vehicles at oh. all. And maybe it would be a good idea to skip the interrogator chaplain and uh, include an attack bike which would have appeared in round two. Especially one with heavy bolters. Uh, mm. And this might have succeeded. But I have to admit, I was really lucky when I, when I did my roles for separating the armies, the battle groups, because no. most of them uh, went into the same battle no, group. That's true. So that wasn't a difficult choice. No. Especially your character, no. I think all of them went mm -hmm. in, battle, in the battle group, which, no. which was on the field at the beginning of the battle. A little bit disappointing were your um, knobs in Mega with their weapons, because they didn't manage to kill the dreadnought. Yeah. Although they fight six turns with the missile launchers. But I think you all often hit uh, the body location and uh, it's really tough to paint at an uh, armor value of 21 with the missile launcher. To be honest, uh, vehicles in second edition can be killed or penetrated or destroyed quite easily by characters with power fists like the Supreme Hawk Exhaust. But um, in close and, and, and we even forgot the modifiers for long range, mm -hmm. because I think if if you shoot from more than twenty four yeah, inches, you receive minus yeah. one from the armor penetration roll. So technically, only strong close combat characters. Um, do well at killing tanks, but or, shooting is difficult. Um, or using multi melters, maybe. Yeah. They are really quite potent against armored vehicles. Or even less cans, I think. It I'm really looking forward to our last game. Yeah, so, yeah, important uh, for the aftermath from the outcome. Um, so, as Marcus has won this battle with his orcs, uh, he would receive plus 10% for the last battle, but because uh, he received minus 10% from the previous battle, so we agreed that uh, the modifiers are cancelled out each other, so he can move in with full strength for the last battle in but uh, you got I think the 1000 points of yeah. normal orcs and Gaskul that's really a lot of miniatures <laughs> approaching from my back in the last uh, scenario so it's quite interesting and I think but we do see it in the next battle report in the last battle report of the campaign um, I think it's called battle in the moonlight and I think you have to roll the visibility in each mm -hmm. turn uh, how far you can see and shoot and so on, so it's quite uh, uh, unpredictable which units can shoot in fact. Okay, so all of you who have uh, showed or uploaded pictures of painted orc models out there, watch out for me robbing you because I need, I, I need lots, yeah. lots of troops push cards full of orcs in order to advance the Space Marines line. Okay, we hope you enjoyed at least this battle report so far and we see you in the last battle of the campaign next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.